want my A to the Z, but you won't. 어림없지, 맞춰봐, sweet. Gonna freak. What's hiding underneath? I see. I'm sorry, you can't burn it. No, keep hanging up. So, oh, no, you won't get it. Nah, nah, you won't get it. I say, come back. 한순간, 그만 당겨, you'll be mine. YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction, we are going over to SM Town. The funny thing about SM Town channel, when I first started my reaction, um, they a number of members from SM Town reached out to me to um, react to a number of uh, their... Um, artists who's just coming out, you know, and I think it was a number of girl bands. And um, they have gone from leaps to bounds and stripes and everything else. I know you're wondering, what? What are you talking about? They message you. I, I go into my catalogue. I started off reacting to two, um, two countries only. I didn't even start reacting to uh, America or England. My, uh, it was Ukraine um, and Korea. And... And it's only from that it blossomed and grew, blossomed and grew, and and I, I've I've have lost touch, but I'm getting back into it. So apologies, number one, for being so long, uh, but I'm here, I'm back, and I want to do a couple of reactions before I head off to Kenya next week, uh, and I will continue doing my reactions when I'm over in Kenya, and especially when I reach over to Ghana as well. So look, this song is called Spicy. There's nothing else other than spicy. I mean, it's 25, number 25 on the trending for music. Brilliant. It's got, um, it was premiered in the 8th of May and it's got 66 million views, right? But the storyline behind it or anything like that, I, I haven't got a clue. Um, this is from their, I believe, album, I think. Um, they got track lists. Welcome to my world. Spicy is number two. Salty and sweet. Thirsty. I'm unhappy till we meet again. It sounds like they're, this, this album, it sounds like a date, doesn't it? First of all, you had, you got your spicy. Um, you had a bit of spicy, then you had your salt and sweet, then you had to, something to drink it down, so you're thirsty, um, you're unhappy <laughs> about the date, um, but I'm going to give you a, a second try, so until we meet again, it sounds like a perfect date. <laughs> right, so look, let's go straight into my next reaction of today, spicy! So without further ado, you know what we're here for, great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you do good? The pink must stand cover on that. Okay, girls. Too spicy. You want my A to the Z, but you won't. I'm up G, my job is sweet. Gonna freak. What's hiding underneath? Okay. I'm going to stop it straight away there. I'm sorry. Do you remember Britney Spears when she first came out? When she was, um, was it Upside Did It Again? Was that the first song that came out? Baby, baby, how does that surprise to know? And the colourful design in the, in the, uh, the school and everything else. That's what it reminds me. I'm not saying the song. The visuals, the colours that's come in, the pinks, the, the blues, the, it's that, it's put me in that, yeah, I, I I think it is, you know, Mr. Um, I forgot what her name is now. I, I swear I just said it. How was I supposed to know? Whatever her name is. But it's, I'm not saying that they sound like that. They definitely don't. But it's the colours, the visuals. It's making me feel like Britney Spears. There you go. Woo, that was, oh, my head hurts. That was too much thinking. Oh, cool. Yeah, the Britney Spears effect. I'm going to go back just a little bit. Apologies if I've upset anybody by saying Britney Spears. Because I know that could be a touchy subject for some people. But I'm just saying the colours. Nothing about her, the way how they're singing. Right? So I'll just go back to about, say, here. You can dance. Sorry, 
When I mean by this is fast, this is everything happening really quickly. As soon as you're fixated on one scene, I'm not saying fixated, as soon as you're comfortable with that scene, it changes very quickly. There's a lot of um, movements, a lot of... If this was a child, you would tell her to sit down and don't move. You know, that kind of thing. Why, you know, I just told, where are you gone? I just told you to sit down. This has got a lot of energy everywhere, but trying to fix yourself, there's a lot of things happening. And there's just a lot of things happening. Fashion sense, brilliant. Dancing, brilliant. Um, singing, I haven't really seen them individually sing. It's more of a, a joint effort. Um, I would love to somehow separate them uh, and see what they can do individually. But I feel that's hard. You know what? You get those girls when you want to... Guys, you know what I'm talking about. You've got those four girls in a bunch over there. You like one of them. And you know that you have... In order to go over there to speak to them, to show that you're interested in that particular girl, you've got to separate that girl from the bunch. And that's going to be very, very hard. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah... I I'm thoroughly loving the song and everything else, but my eyes are like, it's eye candy. It visually, it's eye candy. There's so much things to watch. And I'm smiling, knowing that I'm not capturing everything that's in here, but still enjoying what I'm capturing. Does that make sense? I'm going to go back just a little bit, like, little, 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 little bit, to about, say, to here. Jump on. Bye. I'm going to stop it one more time. Uh, I, I don't know how many times I'm going to stop it. Apologies for that. But when they're saying, uh, I'm too spicy, I'm too spicy, are they supposed to be, um, are the promotion team, the HR team or whatever you want to call it, are, try, are they trying to build them up as the kind of, the Britney um, of the Spice Girls kind of thing or a little bit of the Spice Girls? Um, because I don't think that they need to. Uh, the Spice Girls done a hell of a lot for girl power and you know girls are certainly reaping the benefits regarding the you know the performance wise and just being out there so i don't think that's that's needed i think these girls what i what i appear to see very very confident um females that are really having a really strong bond very hard to separate them i'm very it's very hard at the moment even though i'm seeing them individually sing it's very hard so i've got hiccups it's very hard for me to still separate them they for me it sounds like they all got the same kind of uh vocals um uh, as well um but that's what i'm getting at at the moment apologies for pausing every two seconds but i i shouldn't really be breaking down the song that much anyway i mean i'm more of a let it play enjoy the song and do my analogy after but there's so much stuff in here that's making me like oh oh what's that oh 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 and you know i'm not Giving answers, I'm answering, I'm not giving answers. There's questions that hopefully you connoisseurs uh, will be able to deliver an answer for me. There's also things that I'm going to compare with other Western uh, girl bands because these girls are, they're doing fusing native language with their, with uh, English. So I presume at some point they want to, or if not they have done, transcend over to other countries. Because they have done a number of concerts and everything else. Um, and they, I believe they are trans transcending. So trans transcending over to other countries. So I just want to see what the formula is, what the DNA is. And so far I said Britney Spears, so far I said Spice Girls. So I want to see what else I can see in there. I'm going to go back just a little bit. To about say here. How old are you? When you look at me, because I am a ten out of ten, honestly. You say I got a move, but I don't want to grow. But you keep wasting your time. You don't chase me. I'm going to raise me. She's beautiful. I 
Lucy. Sorry. What is it with uh, people that are not from America? When it comes to singing or rapping, they automatically put on American accent. I get it everywhere. Greece, Italy, uh, I know. Like, as far as anywhere, it's like, um, maybe it's hard to do a uh, a, Brits a British accent or something. I, I don't know. But it seems to me it's very, very easy to fit in or fall into that kind of American accent. It really is. And I hear it from everybody. It's like everyone and everybody. You know, rather than rapping with a um, an accent of your... You know, you put on a different accent. So if I'm rapping, hey man, I'm gonna rap like that, and I'm rap mama down, and I'm not mama number number not not him. Ah, oh, it's. I, I don't know if I love it or hate it, but I'm somewhere in the middle. I really, really am somewhere in the middle of that. Sometimes, it, sometimes it can really fit. Sometimes it's absolutely amazing, and it doesn't seem weird or anything like that. But I suppose because it's nowadays, it's the norm. It's more acceptable, it's more, you know, but for me, I've got a keen eye, and a sensitive, sorry, a keen eye, I'm putting on my ears, I've got a keen eye and a sensitive ears, and there's certain things that I think, mm -hmm. even though it might sound right and beautiful for everybody else, for me it's like, mm -hmm. I don't know, overall I love this song. Overall, the girls are amazing and 25 trending in music. Come on. Um, who am I to say that I mm, is okay? It's more than okay. This song's absolutely fantastic. But it just allows me to scrutinize the girls and see what they what are they actually representing in this universe, in this beautiful uh, planet that we're called, you know? Um, and like I said, so far, it's now Britney Spears um, the Spice Girls and American Accent. So there's three things that I'm pointing out to you. I'm going to go back just a little bit, like, like maybe less than that. <laughs> to about say here. It's like I'm too hot for you to handle. I get it. What? You can't get up to what, what, what? You've got to now listen to the lyrical content. If you spray my car, then I'll kill you. <laughs> So that was Espa with Spicy. Fantastic choreography, brilliant girls, lovely, beautiful fashion sense. They're trendsetters. Um, certainly, from the, loads of different aspects. I don't know kind of the age group that they cover. Um, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking anything from 14 year olds to 23 year olds will be, that's their market. It could be much bigger. I, I have no idea. Um, they've definitely got that kind of charisma. They definitely got that, you know, that kind of Spice Girl feeling vibe. I can see them doing really, really well. I mean, if not, they are doing, look, 66 million. They are doing fantastically well. But I'm talking about how well are they doing outside, you know, in the Western world and everything else. Um, they should fit in. They should be doing absolutely amazing. I'm, I, like, I haven't really dug into the background of these girls. I mean, as in deep as I would like to. But it looks like they're all on point. One thing that I can't, what I'm finding it hard to do is separate the, the, the girls into individuals. I'm finding it too hard for that. Even though you can see the panning in with the girls, individual, they're doing their own dance routine and they've got their own kind of fashion and everything else. But when they were singing, it was just like, 
they all could have been um, quadruplets. They all had the same tone. They all had the same kind of, they had the same. So if I clo close my eyes, if we all close our eyes for this particular song, even though we hear, uh, you know, four girls singing, would you be able to tell which girl is actually singing? I don't think I can. To the point of that, I would almost say that if I close my eyes, I would think that it's only one person singing that song. Um, or, or, or two people singing the song. One is singing it and one is rapping it. Is it was it thoroughly entertaining? Of course it was. Brilliant. The visuals, everything else was amazing. Is it very catchy? S so catchy. Everybody's going to be thinking about this song once they listen to it. It's a car song. It's a dance song. It's a get together girly song. And uh, before you go out, it's a party song. It's so much. Re there's so much reference. This song falls under. You know, it's 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 definitely not a miss. It certainly is a hit. <laughs> uh, Sixty six million people to say it's a hit. Uh, but look, I hope these girls are enjoying their journey, enjoying their ride. And um, because that's what it is at the end of the day. I mean, as an artist, it doesn't matter, you know, how great your vocals are or how bad your vocals are. As long as you have the opportunity to become an artist, someone's giving you an opportunity to become an artist, you take that with both hands. You know, despite, you know, you're not going to be, you might not be the Jennifer Hudson or Anderson or whatever you have it or Beyonce, whatever, but you've still got that same opportunity as what they have. You know, you still got that opportunity to sing in front of an amazing amount of people that love you um, and do amazing things that you love. You know, that opportunity you've been blessed with. So take it with both hands, which you, you know, which you are. And I, I, like I said, I love this performance. I really do. Girls are wonderful. I say love you. Boom. For you.